GD&T management has also become easier in this version. So we've had the ability to display annotations in sort of a current view that's always oriented to yourself, but placing the annotations precisely where you want and making that logical for callout views and sort of that sort of thing has always been a little bit challenging. On well, the current version, there is now an improvement to the drag annotations option. So if you bring that up, you'll see there's actually a number of additional tools here. Um, you can see a reference object and the, the plane that it refer, represents. And so what we've added is the ability to control the direction and the placement of the uh, annotation. And to see that in effect, it's actually easiest just to simply choose a view. So for example, if we go to the top view, you can see things are kind of just laid out in a haphazard manner. So we can constrain those top view annotations to be very precisely placed. So if I just simply click on these and position them where I want them to be, um, and then we rotate the view, you'll see that they are now locked in the plane of that view so that um, they are placed exactly where you want. So we can change this to do the front view, for example, and you'll see that that annotation now moved to the front view. So you can place it and some of these other ones in more of a logical placement. So you can just simply remove them around. Um, and so these controls uh, just simply provide the ability to position annotations more precisely. So the biggest difference is constraining the leader line such that the end point is in the plane that you select. So that's done for you automatically if you have a preset view. If you go to the current view, which allows you to rotate the annotation, there's no reference. Um, so what you can do is actually select an object such as um, this, uh, this CAD model and use the XY plane of that CAD model to move it around and it will maintain its position on the XY plane of that, that CAD model but remain in a current view which rotates with the graphics. So those are some of the additions. You also have a text size. Uh, we can change that to 0.2 and update the text size so you can change the text size of the annotations. So everything's controlled now with a single dialog.